1994, India Sushmita Sen made the country proud by winning the Miss Universe title. 29 years later, the model turned actor is still ruling our hearts. The 47-year-old is busy promoting her upcoming series where she takes on an extremely challenging role. We on Zavira Dahl caught up with her. Listen to their candid conversation. Welcome, Shashmita, to We On. Thank you so much. Let's talk about motherhood first, because this film, Tali, is also about that, being a mother, you know, most of all. And it's such a powerful word in itself. Um, you know, when I became a mother, I always told my mother, no one told me ever what it is to be a mother. And I don't think anybody can explain it. Um, your life changes 360 degrees. People say marriage can change your life. I say only motherhood can. Only motherhood can change your life. Tell me how your life changed when you took that big decision of being a mother uh, so young in life yeah. and now how it is. Oh wow, now I've done a PhD, right? <laughs> but um, something beautiful you said, right? that there's no one who can tell you what it is to be a mother. The experience is that for you. You know what is fascinating is if you have any children, no one can tell you what the experience of the second one is going to be, not even yourself, because it's so different each time. Um, I was 24 when I first became a mom and Jerry came into my life. She was six months old and I became a mom a second time. I was 34 years old, exactly a decade apart. And Alisa was one month old. So I realized when Alisa came in that I actually did not know what to do with a one, one month old baby because my experience was that of a six month old baby. Yeah. So everything changes. Um, you're right, love. There is nothing that is more life-defining than becoming a mother. You know, um, when I saw the trailer of Tali, mm. I felt that um, Gauri's character that you are playing, it starts from being a mother because she is a mother also. Her life and she changed everything around a power of a mother. Tell me when you stepped into her character, what was the most powerful thing? Oh, that's a very powerful question actually because when you meet Gauri, I know of the community for many years, but to know a specific person, her life, and then to meet her sitting in front of me. Three and a half hours, I'm a very talkative person. Like I am like, you know, mm -hmm. I love attention center or attention in the room and all. No chance. If you've got Gauri in the room, just everyone takes a back seat, but she is vibrant. She's humorous. She has an understanding and take of life that is so powerful that you want to keep listening to her because there's just gold everywhere to catch. So when you ask me this question, it's difficult to answer any one thing, but I will tell you this, that in my long life, I have met lots of people, but to see a person like Gauri, she has mountain degrees of greatness. We all do. But she doesn't have a problem accepting it. You know, my second question was exactly that insecurities. We all have insecurities. But I want to know, I've always looked up to you. What, what insecurity do you have? From the time that I was 18 years old, I wanted to be famous. No, from, from the time I was 16, no, 14, sorry. Um, because of Rahul Sharma going to space, that story. And my father said, it's okay, Baba. Because everyone's crying in the living room and I'm thinking maybe if he's related to us and I don't know, you know, so I'm like, it's okay, Baba. And he said, Peta, he's famous. He's India's first. I got stuck. I was like, that's it. I have to be famous and India's first. Because... If I am that, then people who do not know me will be sitting in their living rooms and crying and celebrating my achievements. Um, that's what I wanted. And then God gave me, gave me exactly that. Talk about my manifestation. manifestation. Yeah. 
I carry insecurities of knowing that I may not be able to fulfill the responsibilities that comes with such a desire. When I came into the first or second day of Kali, shoot, that was the day where I met with the transgender community to fill with them. And there was real cold vibe. They were just not happy about mm, a transgender not playing it. Yeah. Fair enough. Then I was like, I must go there. She's like, go And then she was like, don't go there. You don't go there. You just do your thing. Don't bother uh, upsetting anyone. I said, but don't upset. Just want to go say hi. When no one was looking one day, 50 of them sitting, I went, sat down with them. I said, look, we can keep on doing this, you know, or you can just accept that and go on. End story. So they started to help with, okay, let's see a couple of things here that my scene started becoming more and more authentic. And after every take, I would turn and look at them like, and they would all be like, so then I'd be yeah, I got that. You know, like childlike excitement. You know, from being Miss Universe to now, you have seen so much. Tell me, you know, idea of beauty has changed over the years. Oh, yeah. But, and recently we saw a transgender uh, model. Mm -hmm. uh, she was crowned Miss Netherlands. And in 2019 also, mm -hmm. uh, there was uh, Miss Spain who was transgender. She was the first. Like you said, you wanted to be the first. Yes. Uh, can you tell me how the idea of beauty ha should change in beauty patents? Oh, it's, for me, it's universally remained the same. Whether the idea of beauty changed over the years, I have always said that if beauty or was one to ten physical appearance or your height or your body or any of this, I would never want to see this. Never. Not in a million ways. I mean, I'm there at the competition looking at women like this. And I'm tall. I, I, at least I thought so till I went there. We're 16, 61, Venezuela, all of these people. Um, no, I think beauty has to be something that resonates long after you've left. You leave behind the feeling. I had so many more questions, but we are running out of time. Thank you so much for talking to us. Pleasure. Thank you.